Now, spring is when a lot of gardens in Washington are going to grow moss and lichen. Now, lichen, I get questions about this, uh, is not harming your plants. If you see this gray, fluffy stuff growing on your azalea bushes and your apple trees, don't worry about it. It doesn't kill anything. Lichen is a combination of um, fungus and algae, and it's kind of a symbiotic relationship. It's perfectly harmless. I want you to learn how to like your lichen. And you can actually grow a moss and lichen garden. It's as simple as putting them in a shallow bowl. And I'm going to add a little stone here. And maybe, just for color, a hellebore blossoms. Because hellebores bloom so long here in the Pacific Northwest, and we don't get to enjoy their blooms. And what makes this a garden is I'm just using uh, a glass covering the entire thing. That's going to hold in the moisture and showcase both the hellebore, the lichen, and the moss. But if you've got another dome, and this dome cover, I've got a little bit of moss and lichen in it. Remember, these are plants. They're actually going to breathe and, and grow and add moisture. I have a little egg in here for spring. Some more of the hellebores. And just a teeny tiny little flower pot. Cover that with a dome. And now if we display this smaller one, maybe the same table as a cake dome. And these are really popular for displaying cupcakes and cakes. But what if you cover the whole thing with moss and then you can sneak in maybe some lichen, a little flower pot, another decorative egg that says spring is here. And look at all the hellebores I can fit into here. And here's what I found out. If you set these cut hellebores on top of the damp moss with the lichen, and then you cover it with a covering, you're creating a closed system that stays moist. And these hellebores will look good in here for 10 days. The moss and the lichen are going to continue to grow and thrive. It's a wonderful little enclosed garden. And it reminds you to like your lichen.